Here we got the iPad jailbroken on 4.3. Mobile substrate is working. So I'll show you that it is running 4.3. Let's just look up uh, settings. And we can see right there we're on 4.3.1. And we can verify that by the multi-touch gestures like I just did and this is the iPad so you can see right here iPad first generation we can open up Winterborn just set a theme for you so let's just take this one right off hit the home button So mobile substrate is working. It's not the best. It's a little um, buggy, but it definitely is working. So here you can see that it's a little laggy. It's um, mostly because mobile substrate. But you can see, and Cydia opens. There we go. And this is the new Cydia. So tell me what you think of this. Um, do you want this? I'll do a tutorial video if you want. Um, you will need a Mac, but that's pretty much that. Here we have the iPad, jailbroken 4.3.1. I do not suggest installing mobile substrate because it's very laggy. But you will have access to, like, system root, so you can do whatever you want manually. And the mobile substrate fix is located on the iLife repo. So, guys, um, tell me what you think of this, and also make sure you check out fullthrottlehost.com I think that's an issue I was going to show you the website right now but here make sure you check out Full Throttle Host new hosting company we're offering free plans um, ultimate plans and economy plans um, free plan very cheap and ultimate plan um, unlimited and ten dollars a month just very simple but this is the iPad 4.3.1 jailbroken through Ponish Jewel custom firmware and tethered boot so that means this is tethered but um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, tell me if you want to see a um, tutorial video on this and uh, that's about it see you